it's Jess. Hi. So I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek into how I make my protein shakes every day after my workout. Even on the days that I don't work out, I try to make sure that I have my protein shakes so that I get all the um, all the vitamins that I need, all the nutrients I need, and everything I need to repair my muscles on my days off so that I can get back to it the next day. Um, for my workouts so I've mentioned before in a couple of my videos that I'm vegan I've been vegan for almost a year now and uh, it always makes you really aware of what you're putting into your body and you got to make sure that you're eating the proper amounts of proteins vitamin C's uh, getting your correct number of carbs and so I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek into how I make my protein smoothie this is like the bulk of my carbs for the day the bulk of my protein and it um, really helps repair my muscles after those crazy insane workouts so what I've done I have my blender here already with my uh, one cup of frozen blueberries to which I'm gonna add one banana Try to make sure that it's a nice sweet banana. It's not super yellow or green. It has some brown spots so that it's nice and sweet. And then I'm gonna do a quarter cup of whole oats. Next, I add two tablespoons of this awesome whole trilogy health seeds that I found at the local grocery store. It has flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. These are really great for um, helping to repair your muscles after all of the um, cardio that you do or getting uh, the right number of omega fatty acids and proteins. So I do two tablespoons of that. Next, I'm gonna add this really amazing uh, Lin Linaza Plus Pineapple and Moringa with Garcinia Cambogia that I found at, at the same local store as this um, whole trilogy, Health Seeds. So I, I added this because it has the Garcinia Cambogia and I know that it's really good for helping to shed extra um, weight, um, weight that you have and help with weight loss. What I didn't know um, until just a couple days ago is that pineapple is really good for repairing your muscles. And so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this as well. It's a nice powdery mixture, see? Two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to start to add uh, my greens. So I usually get Amazing Grass um, greens. They have a couple of different kinds that they have, and this month I've used uh, the Detox and Digest Clean Green. It has everything in it, man. It has wheatgrass, barley grass, spinach, broccoli, uh, it has lemon peel, carrot, coconut water, ginger root, it has pineapple and cardamom. I mean, it's just, the ingredient list here is unbelievable. So I add one little scoop of this. The scoop is really small, so I only need to do um, this once a day. Little tiny scoop, add it in there. Um, if you're gonna try to make this um, without all of the fruit and stuff, which I do sometimes do on my days off so that I'm not adding all these extra carbs that I don't need on that day, um, I would recommend mixing this with soy milk instead of water or like a coconut milk, almond milk um, sub, um, dairy substitute and then adding your protein powder, mixing it up and drinking it together and having like a chaser of like um, a, a apple juice or something that's gonna help get rid of the flavor because it's super, super green. That really helps to keep everything moving in your digestive system and, and keep you nice and healthy. So next, I'm gonna add my protein this month or within the next 18 days, I guess. I'm using the plant-based Vega protein and greens or Vega, people pronounce it differently, but protein powder. I usually just get whatever is most affordable that's plant-based protein and this just happens to have greens on the inside too. So now I'm getting double the greens, which is awesome. So I do one scoop of this. And later in the day, uh, I try to do uh, the soy milk mixture that I told you about with another one scoop of this protein powder, so I'm getting extra protein. One scoop of the protein powder contains 20 grams of protein. So if I do two scoops a day, I'm getting 40 grams right there, which is really, really good for me. Next, I'm gonna add my all-time favorite ingredient is peanut butter. I have been like a peanut butter addict since I was really little. My mom said she used to catch me in the pantry eating out of the jar and she would have to hide it on top of the fridge. So I'm just doing like one little spoonful, like a cereal spoonful of peanut butter. Next, I'm adding cinnamon, just like ground cinnamon because it's really good for repairing your muscles. So I'm adding half a teaspoon 
of cinnamon. And then I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of ground ginger for the same reason. It's really good for keeping your system ready to go for your workout so that you're not having plantar fasciitis or knee problems when you're doing cardio and, and weightlifting and things like that. So I added all of my ingredients together. The last thing I'm gonna add is soy milk. I'm gonna get that right now. Sometimes when I make this recipe, I'll do it with water instead of soy milk, just to cut back a little bit of the calories, but then it's really, really watery. So I'm gonna add one cup of soy milk. And if it's too thick with just one cup of soy milk, you can always just add a little bit more soy milk or water to help thin it down a little bit. So I put my lid on and I give it a go. After the initial, the initial blend, I'm going to give it a little scrape down to get the extra ingredients off the sides that get stuck there. Tap off the excess, give it a whirl another time. Let's check the consistency and see if we're good. I think we're good. It's a little bit thick, but that's okay because it's not going to be difficult to scrape out like ice cream or anything. It's just a little bit... Uh, more substance so it's not really watery and gross. I have my Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters cup that I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into. And there we have it. My delicious protein smoothie that I drink almost every day. Very good for you, super nutritious. I'm gonna post all of the nutrition facts uh, down in the comment section so y'all can see how much protein it is, uh, the uh, how much carbs, how many vitamins, and everything like that, so you'll be able to understand why this protein shake is just so important to me. I post new videos every Monday, so feel free to give uh, that like button a smash, hit the subscribe button as well. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. If you have any great protein sources for, uh, for vegans that you sometimes add to your protein smoothies, I'd love to hear about that. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.